It's Fire Ryzen, welcome to Let's Play Ogre Battle Hard Type, Stage 14, Morgana. This will be the second floating island, or flying island, and we'll go after the second Dragoon Fenril, who's not quite as excitable. Uh, she's actually more of an Ice Queen, to be exact, and we should be facing more cold enemies this stage. Well, I don't think we'll get quite as many cold enemies this stage as there were fire enemies last stage. And it'll probably be a little bit mixed too. There's probably I think there's at least one it's like Princess uh, Siren unit, which would be interesting. Uh, a lot of varied terrain. I think mm, there's really not like a great town to take that's right in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is go straight for the enemy, and then I'll probably have to retreat to some point. And how much I have to retreat will determine which. I take, I guess. I went ahead and pulled the Shaman out of the Halloween unit, which is flying now. We'll see if the uh, trade-off is worth the lack of healing to be more mobile. Then I have a 2 Siren, 1 Witch, which will shortly be all Siren unit, uh, which is pretty much built from scratch. I figured it would be worth having some fire damage to the stage. Uh, this is reorganized a little bit. But it's basically just a heavy damage unit. I think it's pretty much the same thing as last stage, except I have two people up front instead of the gold. And there's really no snow, but I thought, hey, if there's a bunch of cold units, then, you know, a cold, a high defense uh, cold unit that can equip flame swords might be useful. I know there's a lot of healers and princesses and things, so I don't know if I will deploy the undead. I reorganized Canopus's unit, this is now the all luck unit. Canopus has 99 luck, which is ridiculous, and everybody else has like 65 to 70 luck. So I use a couple lucks on, I think, one, unlock, one luck item on Slust, and one luck item on the Griffin. And Denim just has ridiculous luck. Alright, so I'm not going to deploy them for now. Uh, and so this is what used to be Canopsis unit, although I think I have one different uh, Cockatress in there, just one of the Cockatress that I was a high luck character. And I'm going to use this to take out mages. It'll do even more damage than Canopsis unit, then I won't have to finish the enemies off. I can use a, a different unit that doesn't do nearly as much damage, it just has high luck. And let's go ahead and bring my hero up, whose unit is pretty much the same. I have been leveling up those uh, fairies in between stages, just tossing them in when I needed to fix someone's alignment or something, and they're level 16 now, so a couple more stages, and it should be ready to... Sylphs. I don't really want to rush it, because if I make level 18 sylphs when the enemies are level 16 or something, it would just be ridiculously overpowered. They both did come from, um, how do you say, the uh, beast egg. So they started out at level 2, and I still haven't leveled my opinion leader up past level 4, so if I can get another beast egg, I can make the third fairy, or maybe a mermaid or something, whatever I get out of the beast egg, I guess. So everybody's kind of rushing up the gut here. And again, I won't have to worry too much about getting knocked off this uh, sky island, just because it's not that narrow. Pretty much the only place I have to worry at all is over here on this edge, if I try to skirt the mountains. And so I'm going to send my high sky units kind of on both sides, so just if I get an idea of who's coming, and then can this just right up the center. So I guess I could just kind of try to take this town right here, be super aggressive. Okay, black and white damage. It's not ideal because they're just not weak versus physical. Cold damage would definitely do a lot of damage, but... Let's see... I put a plus white item on... Actually, during the day, that'll work out fine. Because he has high white during the day. So... I don't know, let's... Let's try to go... I don't know if I'll make it or not, but I'm going to give it a shot. Let's just 
just go straight into the enemy. Lewis guy gets into the this mountain range. And we'll go ahead and pull them back. Pull them back as well. Another neutral character. I don't think I really need any levels in this unit, but I'm not gonna take that much damage. And who knows I can get an item? Dragon or keep yourself alive. I forget which dragon or whatever that is. Oh, apparently she was near one. Let's just put them up on this mountain here. Alright, this unit. Okay, so mostly physical was one lightning. Fire would be good there. I think we should be okay for some. It'd be interesting to see if I get the edge of the water. Yeah. Golems in the water, huh? Well, I'll get to go first. I don't think I'll be able to kill it, but no, maybe so. That's right, even though it's physical damage, it's ant based, so that's probably can work quite well against the original golem class. Is that has the least ant of any of the golems. Muse mm. and Master, so that's pretty serious backline. That is where these guys should go destroy. So I went ahead and put a Muse into the Princess instead of the Nixie, because I thought this stage just have a fair number of cold creatures, but that doesn't really seem to be the case. I would definitely have been better off with a Nixie here than the Airbuck is strong against lightning. Um, just got some flame weapons up front, and we'll get a bunch of heals. And this did some damage. Okay. I had plus thunder on everybody with the Muse, who just has ridiculous thunder defense. And that should have been their last attack, so... I'll at least get three hits with thunder, even if it won't do nearly as much damage as, uh... Two hits... It might have done as much damage as two hits with... Nice cloud, I'm not sure. But more importantly, I was able to heal up and pretty much destroy them. I still do have to get to this pretty quickly, though, if I'm gonna really do this. And then I'd have to fall back. Oh, this is not really a great place to defend it's so far off from given the beaten path. I really don't want him to have to fight this. Who do I want to go after this physical unit? This guy, right? I should just push everybody straight towards the city if that's what I'm going to try to take over, I guess. Except I really want them to die here. So put the protect ring on the vampire, which should give him some sort of ridiculous. I don't know, 80 or something. White defense during the day, and I should go first. And he already has high black defense. So I should do significant. Okay, well, not necessarily go first. But still, I should do a ridiculous amount of damage and not take too much. That's not too bad. And then uh, I can run away whenever I want. Because I can't do any more damage to them, and they can do damage 
damage to me. And heal. Okay, well. I must have lowered the vampire's white defense more during the day. And, because he certainly is taking a lot less damage from black than from white. Which I think makes perfect sense. protect ring on, so you should be able to take a lot of damage regardless of what it is. Nope, it's the right unit. So as long as you don't miss, I think that should do it. They certainly have high agility. Right, really loving that unit. Then I'm going to pull them back. Stop. My king leader right there. Pull Canopus into this little area here. We do have one person going around there, so let's just pull him to there. What do we got here? Undead. And put four princesses and a siren? Okay, that's that's weird. Take this. I just need to go straight out. That one, probably the next fight is going to be this, though. So is that what I want? Not really. I'd really rather have this unit fight both of those units, but... So the interesting question here is, do I have my Halloweens go after the mages? Or do I have my Halloweens go after... I think I will go after the mages. Even though I'm not going to be able to kill them before they go, most likely. Uh, I should be able to take out two of the mages. And it looks like they... I should be able to survive the last magic attack, too, if I keep them strong. They're just not going to do much damage to the Halloweens. Okay. So now, if I don't miss, I should be able to take out two of them. Then I have no attacks left except for those guys. I won't be able to do quite enough damage to kill them. What I need was a Lich. I probably should have put back into this unit. Um, so then we'll push them back towards the back. So I just need somebody who can take white damage. Um, Eagle Man is there across the whole front. It's probably Raven Man. Um, it won't be that bad, I don't think. It matches up pretty well. The biggest weakness, of course, is that my Nixie will take a bunch of thunder damage. Um, but I think I have a chance of going first. And the only beat, well, not so much for that, but I only take one thunder. And I mean, regardless of whether I kill them or not, I'm only going to take one thunder because I'm going to run away. I'm a little disappointed there, though, um, that I wasn't able to kill the back line or go before some of the other guys. I guess she just doesn't have quite... Yeah, she only has 105 agility, which I mean sounds like a lot, but all of all of these classes have high agility, so... And they, they didn't have to level up for anything else, they just started as that class. But even though I didn't kill them, that kind of obliterates them. All I have to do is be able to take two hit-alls. I still think these 
guys are going to have to take out the princess. Liches. Should be able to come up here and take out these two units. And I'll park these guys, but they could help as well. Pull them up and stick them on them out. Alright, so the key here is to not get charmed. I'm going to be able to do a bunch of fire damage and some black damage. And I got physical uh, swords up front. And these guys are weak against all of that, except obviously the sirens not weak to fire. Uh, and Stardust is just not going to do that much damage because they have no strength. That is going to do some serious damage, but... Youch. Okay, that's unfortunate. So... Definitely have to run away after this fireball. But did a bunch of damage to them, and another unit should be able to take them out. Kind of surprised how much fire damage my backline took, but that's life, I guess. Um, um, I think actually the princess unit is probably better match for them, but I don't know if they'll be able to get there in time. So this unit is... Actually, the unit's not that low. This unit should just come up and kill them. Should be able to take out both of that one. Then we'll send the princess unit back to there. That way does the best plan. Or we could just hit them. Uh, it might still work. Alright, not necessarily the you know what I wanted to hit them with, but I think it'll still work. I can definitely survive both hit alls if I have to, and I think I probably will have to. There's one. Okay, so Well, they have higher fizz, I think. Yeah, that's no good though, it's really close. So I may actually lose someone too, yeah. Oh well, this is this is the most aggressive fighting I'll be doing. Um, so it really doesn't matter. So I'll just turn around and obliterate all of them. And once I have secured this city, then we'll just go get someone else. To... Really? Well, actually, I guess I had a third attack with the muse. Not that it really matters. So, then we gotta go back and get some other people. Although the wild man was really suboptimal anyway, he was just doing that to level up. So, kind of a shame he didn't get one more level. But, eh, 14 is not too bad. Alright, well, that's why I wanted to fight this unit. Not that bad, but I'm good for him. Alright, um, so let's just pull him straight in and pull this guy. Alright, only two more enemy units to go. And they'll probably go first. I just need them to not charm someone significant. Even with a charm, we can probably still do it. Youch. So now I really need to kill the witch. So, now I got this just because they just don't do any damage with Stardust. So it's strength-based. Alright. Pretty much completely toast here, but... I just gotta make sure I get out of the way. Oh well. 
it out. I think it's a frontline muse, so it's not like... That will definitely uh, give me a level I'm losing way around that. Yeah. Oh well. And agility, very nice item. Alright, so let's make sure that I send them up and keep my opinion. I'm just kinda sitting here. These guys are finally getting close, huh? Probably there's no way I can really catch that guy, so might as well just go here in that direction. Alright, so that shouldn't be too bad. Physical and thunder. Alright, I went ahead and put the golden mail on the vampire. Okay, they did go first. Surprised did that much damage to so Golden Mail really should put his fist uh, resistance to ungodly propositions. So then, I don't want to run away, um, because I'd like to be the winner. Alright, so let's jump in and liberate that city. And then Knopfus can go probably catch them. Stay on. I don't know about that, actually. Alright, so... But, oops, not them. Everybody else needs to go straight for... ...this town. And if someone else liberates it... You know, actually... I have really high reputation. It might be better... Just liberate this town so I can get people on it. Liberation. My alignment or my reputation doesn't even visibly go down. No hope. Wow, let's we'll see about that. Okay, still be able to deal with that unit hopefully. This unit kind of meander around more just so hopefully we catch them. Or uh, cut them off. Okay, so all masters, I guess. Mostly physical with a little bit of firelight in their eyes. Mm. Looks like I'm not going to be able to make that until all of those guys are going to escape. Unless I go right at them, I think that's a bad idea. They'd probably just obliterate the, the witch, I would think, if they're on weak. If they're not on weak, I don't know. Try it going right. It's not gonna happen. This unit's coming back. Alright, so who do I want to fight them? That will take mostly. Because the golem unit is down below, that would have been a great unit, especially if they were weak. They're not healed enough. Oh, nobody's healed enough. Huh? Alright, well, maybe Canopus, you will be doing something heroic after all. Go 
go at them. Okay, so... I'm not really sure how this would go, because this unit honestly isn't put together to output ridiculous damage or even to tank damage. It's put together because it has high luck. And I mean, it has some good people. The That's one of my best uh, two guys in back between the Cockatrice and Deno. And I guess I do have high agility for freaking every but here. So at least they're on strong and they'll spread the damage out, I guess. I should be okay. I won't take that much damage. Okay, maybe I'll just obliterate them. And now, unfortunately, I killed the leader. I guess while everyone's healing, I can heroically charge forward. Golem, so I want to put the head and put the angel ring on him, which is 23 white, but I think it's gonna completely negate his attack because, well, he's gonna attack people that are weak to white. Um, okay, well, hopefully, hopefully that will be enough white defense to. Yes, okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe slightly, maybe slightly overkill there. Um, okay, so that. That is all the damage I'm going to take, except another 6 damage from the healers. So, I'm not too worried about taking that additional 6 damage. And I had a freaking miss, of course. That's The Lich is going to do almost all my damage, so that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, I do have the Death Claws on the Dragoner, so I'll do a, a, a little bit of damage there. But uh, Okay, that's that's what I like it. I still don't think I'm going to... Well, okay, the timing worked out for me. Otherwise, I would have had to not miss. But still, you know, doing 33 damage, uh, even with a white item equipped, is not too bad. Uh, just one of my lowest level characters. I think they're probably gonna go heal, which is gonna be kind of weird because it's all the way over there. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that? Right there for the moment. I'm thinking that is not the unit I'm going for. So we're gonna get black, white damage. Oh yes, heroes probably not quite the form. Alright, I went with holy weapons up front. I've got them spread outside, so it should hit on the evil ones. And I really need to go to weak. I'm pretty sure that I'll go first. And it's kind of unfortunate for the timing of the guys up front. But hey, at least. Yep, yeah, yeah, some bonus damage. Especially if I keep it on strong after that, uh, I shouldn't take that much damage. And that pal then uh, will help me do some serious damage. Nah, that's really the wrong guy to charm, but. Well, I mean, again, I don't really need to kill anyone in this fight. I really just want to win so that I can get the guys behind them. But I'll take a death or two. Although, actually, based on my experimenting with neutral enemies, you don't get the XP if the enemy kills themselves. Ah, uh, uh, really? What the? What the? What the? Blah, 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 blah. I guess it's... No, they're not High Sky. How did I not catch them? Is that even advisable? That is not advisable. Well, actually... Meh. No, it's not worth it. Dang it. I don't know how that happened. Why are they going that way? Other way. 
just got there. Except that I totally picked the wrong one to capture, I suppose. Or maybe I needed to capture both, I don't know. Alright, so let's see if we can cut them off. They're not fighting with them, so I already got one on this certain level. Let's see if the vampire can live up to stuff. He certainly has been just kind of watching fights, so if wants he should do some actual damage. Yeah, he's definitely taking less physical damage uh, in vampire form, so his stats must have been changed some uh, since Veracor's post. Some thing about this unit is, of course, the samurais in the back. Yeah, we should do a ton of damage to them. Okay, that's not so bad of a choice of targets. Then, of course. Have to go chasing after this unit. But Kappa should at least be up to it. Well, the problem is I ran out to it, so I don't think Kappa will catch it. At least they certainly failed to last time. Give it another shot. Another. Uh, Suboptimal thing about being this close to the enemy base. Uh, maybe, maybe. Just no one's coming at me immediately, so that goes well. Oh, you can do it, you can do it! Right. something, but...
So I only have four units on the left. I'm not terribly pleased about that. Alright, lightning and physical. Bolius Axe on the Eagle Man, who should be really strong against Thunder, and then the uh, sort of slicing on the Ninja Master, give him a little bit of a bonus against the uh, Acid attack by the Double Mage, and of course all the upfront attacks. Not that he really needs much bonus against them. Pretty much, we're gonna have to run away. Um, I think they're gonna go first, so I might as well just preemptively run away, rather than run away with like five HP or maybe have them somehow even kill the, the witch with 52. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll just have Canopus um, fly up into them, assuming. Alright, virtually the same setup, except instead of the Bolius Axe, I used the Broken Sword. Uh, because I, I just want some protection against physical. Still a little more damage than I thought I would take. Alright, so that's the most of the damage I'll take the first round. Those muses, I don't, I don't understand why they do so much damage, because they, they're they supposed to only get plus two strength growth, but maybe maybe their initial strength stat is ridiculous. Alright, well, didn't need to clean up for that. Actually, they're not moving. Just these guys are moving. Really, Confus is healed enough that I can probably just circle them around so they can swoop in upon unsuspecting enemies. Alright, so this is going to be a problem if they start to come forward. Alright, so let's remove these uh, dead beats. Somebody else in there. I don't know if I have anybody else who's going to make them flying. Although they may not be as heavy as the Nyx he was in there before. So I can try to put a demon in there. And then. Uh, sure. Forest. Use of the Magic Master problem. It's not like this is a huge level anyway. It's probably fine. But I rather prefer. I might actually prefer the for a little bit. But eh, by the time I get there, it's gonna be day. Screw that. Send somebody after these guys. Yeah, probably two people. Mm. Alright, so I think I would rather. First, because pumpkins suck if they're not the first in. Yeah, still no movement on the other side. Alright, time for some Halloweens to knock down the cockatrice. 
won't be all that useful other than that, I don't think. Although this certainly won't take that much damage. And... Don't look to be even useful at that. Okay, and I'm gonna have to... Really? Come on. That's just pathetic. I had him... One time out of a billion. Uh, and I have to run away. Otherwise I might lose that mage. Alright, well, maybe the next unit can beat them for hit ratio, huh? It'd be hard to not beat them. Alright, so we can do a little bit better this time, especially in hitting the uh, cockatrice. And I don't know if I'll go first or not, but, well, did not do better hitting the cockatrice that time. So... That's it, huh? One round for everybody. And then I got Canopus coming down, so... I guess we'll just see if anybody can get there. And actually... Well, I don't think I really want that unit to fight them, to be honest. I think I should be able to hit them with both Canopus. So, since only one person, just move everybody up front. And I think that should do it. If not, I think I'm going to knock him far enough out of the way I might be in trouble. Although Canopus can probably still get around him. And it's a nice thing about going first. Won't take any damage. I could probably do that to, uh, if I wanted to, maybe if the enemy unit had only two mages. I have three, but if they only had two, I could try putting the cockatrice up front and see if I could, if I could actually target them with the key. It's probably not in all situations you're going to be able to target exactly the two people you want. Alright, and let's pull them back a little bit here. Okay, it looks like everybody woke up here, at least. Ish. Alright, so nobody's going down to my base. So, let's pull these guys up. And I guess if I was really inclined to, I probably could have cheated in and just taken the stage before one day passed. Uh, without killing all the enemies, but I'd rather get XP. Send. Send them, I think. Interesting. now, so it might be a little bit interesting. I... I don't know if I should go first or not. I'm going to be conservative. Alright, that's definitely a good person to charm. I think I'm going to go to weak now in case I charm. Or do lots of damage. And then I should probably go to strong. No, I guess I can stay Alright, I think this is really going to work out for me after that rather awesome charm. So they should have two more hits frontline. I think I can take that in order to do more damage to them. I 
physical attack, which would kill either the one I hit. And I guess I could have readjusted that to do more damage. And that's kind of unfortunate, but nothing I can really do about that. Alright, that went much better than I thought it would. And hopefully Canopus can swoop in there and ensure that that doesn't go back to base again. Another neutral character. Well, if I need to level anyone up between this stage and last stage, I ought to have a pretty good spot to do it. Of course, there's no undead in either place, so it does uh, put a couple of limits in for at least uh, or rather raising the And now he really needs to heal. Alright. And I did that just at the wrong angle. There we go. Careful and not jump in. So let's go back to there. I think these are pretty much half fully healed, so variable damage, white and fire damage. Let's just put them behind. So for white, the princess unit would be pretty good. Let's move this unit away. Stick in there would be kind of tragic to have them accidentally drop into a fight. Um, I don't really think the pumpkin heads are great against any of those. Yeah, I could be okay. Sure, all are coming. Alright, I went ahead and put white on everybody except for the doll master who gets the mystic helm which has some fire. And even the, the frontliners uh, got white. So I'm a little surprised that they obliterated the raven man like that because they have no strength and he's got, well, this is only plus five white. I think so, that might be part of it. Okay, that's, that's absolutely no good. Um... Okay. Uh, I think I can take the Lich's attack. So then I get one last attack here, and then I'm pretty much forced to flee. So, that did not go nearly as well as I thought, but I mean, anytime you get a Lich charmed, things probably are not going to go. This unit ought to work out a little bit better. I really should have at least both of the which one call it uh, cockatrices go first. Of course, uh, missing doesn't help a lot in terms of going first, but it shouldn't matter if I can. Oh. Um, guess we're all done. That certainly went better, but. I thought it would go even better in terms of not getting hit by two hit alls. Perhaps even be fully healed and ready to go take these guys out. Um, so, 91 HP, I think is just not enough. As much as I'd like to go just absolutely destroy their back line. I don't know, it's probably unlikely that I'll miss, but. They have ants, so I could miss two of them with an Ixie, then she might die. Alright, we've already done this fight, so hopefully it'll go just as well as the last time. With nobody dying, and me killing two of 
Unlucky, I should be able to take out the whole back line for the go. Just that's the intent. And with the black armor on the front guy in the coffin, he should hopefully not take too much damage either. Because I should have drawn strong to. Yep. Because they do. I'm pretty sure they do black. They do either do black or physical. And that armor helps push both. It's just for an office to come in and deal with them. So, that worked out really well. Um, I guess since I'm here, I might as well just read the princess. Yeah. 
good, but I think that's not good. You know, one for them. So this unit is all physical. It's a tiny bit of mental. The golem. Who's the golem? Has the golem? Let's put the golem on for that. And pull this guy back just a little bit. So he should be the perfect uh, tank for this fight. Or actually, I'm gonna put the Death Claw on him. I think actually, I. Or maybe that's what's on. Him. No, yeah, he has the Death Claw. Yeah, he has the Death Claw. And then she has the Broken Sword. That's right. Seem to be a nice counter. And then unfortunately, so this is going to be mostly physical. Should actually work pretty well for that too. And just keep it. We'll go ahead and refill. Alright, they do all physical damage, so equipped death capes across the back line, a slicing sword. on the back end because well, they're only going to take one swath and then they can go heal. And 
so now may as well run anytime I can. Get the protect ring up front because it gives all sorts of defense. And I should probably at this rate I'm not gonna be able to run because they're just not gonna do much damage. Especially not the evil ones. It's not bad at all, really, because this unit doesn't need the XP. You can go back and heal up almost instantaneously. And let someone else save them. And go for them. And they're trying to sneak up. Yeah, they can't fly, so they should be fine. Alright, should be all physical damage, or all um, strength-based damage anyway, and black and white, which doesn't necessarily favor gold. It's kind of unfortunate, but I guess that is probably my worst glitch. Hindsight, this is not really the best matchup for me. I'm gonna have Nixies that are gonna have to take a bunch of lightning damage. But they are pretty monstrous from a stats perspective, so I think they'll. Well, certainly, if the enemy just misses them, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I guess, um, muses are pseudo-cold units. So, still not, not a high cost to soften them up some so that some other unit, like this one maybe, can finish them off. I got a bunch of damage potential, so I've got three sirens. Ridiculous, but I'm gonna have to retreat. Since I got zero, zero firewalls, and apparently you can't tank intelligence space. Is, is this lion actually? Yeah, it's okay, ends. They're not weak to lightning. Oh well. Can't say I'm entirely surprised. Alright, well, we don't have that problem this fight, because there's no randomness. All I have to do is not miss them a ridiculous number of times. Especially given that I got pumpkins. Okay, so now really just have to hit everybody once. Right. Why is he going to so much? I believe this guy is probably better. Those guys are 
blocking. Let's make sure that we're actually healing the items. Slicing and broken sword up front, trying to balance offense and defense. Particularly because I think my back row is going to do all the damage necessary, so I just don't want to have them be obliterated too much. And I guess I should have swapped, but I was thinking like, that attack would be next. Well, that's an unfortunate miss. But overall, doing pretty good. And they're dividing out the damage on a variety of people, so that would really work in my favor. And then with six uh, attacks from the back, that would level most units, I think. And then I'll probably move them back to heal, since they have no cleric. Alright, so we got white and cold unit coming in. perfectly because you know, weak. Um, the ice giant is strong versus white and cold and no one else here is really weak versus cold. And then having uh, the dragon in the back means I can give her the broken sword which gives her weakness to white because they can't get to her. That's unfortunate, but Marcus may be able to come in and finish this off. Well, hopefully he can, because I'm not going to finish them. I'll have to check and see how close to Titan. Is it 15? I think it's, I think it's 16. Nope. Alright. And it's a permanent change, so hopefully I like it. I guess one, one downside is that Kai doesn't have quite as high cold resistance. And actually, I'm not really sure that Knopf is going to make good on that, but I'll give it a shot. I think we're good enough for another fight here. Yes, yes, definitely. Alright, they got three mages, so I went ahead and put Anti-Black on my Shaman, since that's what she's weak to. And Anti-Thunder on the Lich, since that's what he's weak to. Anti-fire across the back line and anti-white across the front line. 
hopefully it will be enough for me to survive enough to do some damage to them. Okay, well that seems to be helping me a little bit at least. And then of course I do finally have my monk. So maybe I shouldn't have gone quite as defensive. And I don't think that really concerns me that much that they charmed the guy with the angel wing. Yeah, I got a number of things coming, but not enough. Well, oh well. It is probably a horrible idea to put him up front in the first place. So then the question is, do we get another firewall or not? That was well placed. So really all I need to do is go first, and I think I okay, will go first. And even with the mist, it's not going to do 75 damage. Yeah, she just doesn't have the strength. So. Alright, two units down and one to go. And I just need cold resistance for that, which I've got plenty of cold resistance. Wait a minute. Crazy. Maybe I just uh, can't count. Probably, probably can't count. All right, so back to Canopus trying to butt in at the last minute. I don't know if he can. Was able to swoop in and be a little bit useful. 
I guess I'll just pull it back out there. These units are not flying. Alright, put the snow orb on Denim to try to make her not be entirely crystallized into nothingness. And that's an unfortunate miss because the fire will turn out. That's not too bad. She's a pretty good hint. And now it's just all about me not horribly missing. And I guess I should have instead the flame sword. On uh, Celeste, I should have put the thunder sword, but it doesn't really matter. And this might be the last scene here. I should take during the stage, so I'm going to look that up. Um, I really would like the golem to get higher level, I think. 14 is not that bad. They're already high level. 14, 15. Okay, I think the golem. Although maybe what I should do is go in first. And the goal here is not necessarily to kill all of them, just want to do a ton of damage so the golems can get some XP. And I went ahead and put the angel ring and the protect uh, ring on. But that should, I think, uh, help the Halloween's enough. Yeah, not too bad. And then without any liches, there's no of killing anyone. Oh, that's a shame poison mess was that would drop them down lower, certainly. And now the other units should be able to come in and I would think in one fell swoop take them out, but I'm gonna try to circle around behind them. Snowboard for the Lich, Mystic Helm for my Shaman. I went ahead and put the Protect Ring on the Golem and put him, well, left him off center. Half because I was lazy and half because I just don't want him to die. I think that the Lich can do most of the damage, so the goal is just to kind of live through some of this. Alright, perfect. Well, this is a little bit less perfect. out in front of them, so a little bit of healing, and I guess I should have gone weak there to kill her off, but no, they're still too low, I'm not going to be able to kill them, so not good enough, certainly having some agility for the ledge would have helped a lot there to go before the healer, um, let's send the siren. Red versus blue conflict here. Two Nixies versus three Sirens. And I'm kind 
kind of guessing they'll go first, but that's also nice. Don't take any white damage. Uh, which makes me feel a little foolish for putting the power sh or the uh, angel ring, I think. Maybe for attack of arm. Something like that on the ninja. Well, it doesn't really matter. Got some XP, and I'll be able to go heal. And now I'm just waiting on Compass to go find a temple or something. Oh, another neutral character. Guess might as well get some free XP. Because he didn't target Princess, although I guess with Heal Plus it may not matter. because it's a very powerful offensive unit, just not necessarily the most offensive units. And so we get here, and then I need to go assemble everyone to take out the boss, and let's go here somewhere. Huh. Alright, let's use some of that luck to get an item. Already, but now I have two lightning swords, which could be very useful in some places. Oh no, Shikul 2! Let's see, I think. It's right there, I'll double check. And. Move everybody up here. I'll wait a little bit to try to liberate a couple more temples. Because I think if I come back after the stage, there's no chance to get an item. At least, I have never yet gotten an item liberating a temple after a stage. And that may hold true for towns as well. I'm not sure about that. But I suppose I can have my opinion here. Someone's fighting for you. Of course, what they don't know is that I'm going to turn evil halfway through this playthrough once I have all the special characters. Mwahaha. So, let's go ahead and go here. There's a hidden city, I think, right there. And then a slightly wrong. Temple isn't on the other island. It's at the edge of this one right about there. Alright, no item that time, but not like you can get one every time. And then the last temple is way the heck over here. Hermits! Sword, huh? Uh, good thing we appeared. Good thing. So we take that village. And I don't really care about my reputation that much as long as I stay above 70%, so I might as well just take all the piece. Moon 
cart. Right, well that actually will help. And I might want to keep it for some difficult situation. Good for certain bosses. Yes, well. We'll do our best to save her because you guys don't want to fight, but we're war-mongering scum from down below. You can have it both ways. Nice. We already heard she's kind of a criminal. Kind of. Let's see, I think there's a couple more hidden cities over here. There's one right there. I don't know if I'll have time to get to it or not. I need to move this unit up. Yes, damn barbarians, do your job. Right, I don't know if I'll be able to get the last not to be a little bit. Uh, I think that one. Moon, okay, well, I'll get the last one too. Actually, I probably should have that card. Shangri-La, Falana, the goddess of justice. That we can't recruit her. Cool. Always a good card. And also a good one to kill certain. I don't know, maybe I should keep Star for some of the high agility bosses, but. Yep, no chance. Well, guess what? I'm not going to, because I'm going to go evil. <laughs> Although, I guess if I really wanted to, I could get all the stones and then go evil, but I don't want to wait that long. No, I want to be able to use all the benefits of golf and those minions. Alright. Then I should be able to finish this off. Well, really, eh, it doesn't matter. And probably most of these are fine anyway, so I don't get there first, even though they're not here. And if I'm lucky, it might even be nighttime for the vampire still. I don't know, it's gonna be really close. So who's not moving? Which? And everybody else is moving. Alright. Bring it on, Fenril. Hey, right, time to get a little back row titan action. How dare I? How dare we? Alright. Trying to slap her back to her senses. Ouch! And I put the cold shield on the dragon up front. The cold orb on Lich. And the Euro Sword on the Titan. And Mystic Helm on the Shrine. As long as that doesn't kill the Lich. Oh, yeah, it's, it's cold damage, doesn't do much damage to Liches. We should be golden. Did a lot more damage than I thought. At this point, I'm gonna put on weak. Because I do not fear. Do not fear. I guess if they focus damage, well, actually, no, they don't have any more damage besides the. And that's it. That is it. Well, the Titan certainly looked pretty awesome in that fight. Who are we? Who are we indeed? Oh, you never know. 
Alright, two uber melees. I'm really tempted to make someone else a princess so I can toss Fenrir in. I think that's... I don't know, maybe I should have done that with Sluss. It's just his, his luck was so high I had to put him in the all-luck unit. But I think that's what the other princess unit needs, is just somebody who can take a lot of beating. Or I could put Fenrir in the current one, I guess. Alright, thanks for watching!